Do you know what day it is? It's kiln unloading day. Here's my kiln. It is a cone sitter. It's pretty small. Sometimes though, you just gotta make do. See what I did there? I haven't looked at this kiln yet. I promise. I want this to be authentic. There's a couple tests in there, a couple pieces. It's not a whole body of work yet. I'm just getting started on some new tests. I'm really excited, so let's open it. Gonna hide this for later. Don't want you to see that just yet. This was a Narakomi test. Cone six clay body, a matte black glaze. I did some Mishima for this cup. Just a clear glaze on the outside and a white liner. Ooh, I like how this one turned out. Some more Mishima, clear outside, white liner, but all the test tiles for glaze are below this shelf. So let me take care of that real quick. Oh, there we go. Did a lot of tests with about seven different glazes and a couple of uh, under glazes. Anything catches my eye? Ooh, this looks like a caramel over like a turquoise blue. Got some nice speckles there. Hmm. Oh yeah, duh. Caramel on top of, I think it's Wright's blue. I'm gonna unload these and get a closer look. Next shelf. Last row. Got a lot of my like Narakomi clay combinations and I tried this one stamping technique and then underglaze fill on top of uh, some scraps from that blue green clay that you saw. I think I like that combo and a clear on top for half of it. Not clear, clear. Just tests. Look at the difference with clear on top of this pink, red, orange clay. Can I just add some richness to it? Clear on this half, plain on this half. I like this a lot. We'll be seeing more of this in the future for sure. I mean, this little rock looking thing has some scraps. I ground it down with the belt sander. Looks way better in person. Oh, there's a nice side for you. It looks nice. Here's clear over a clay I've never really showed you before. It was just blue and black clay. Here it is with no glaze, fired to cone six. Here it is with glaze on top. So many glazes, so many results. Which ones will be successful? Let's get a close up of these glazes. One dip of the Penland Red Orange. It's kind of nice. And there's the Orange Street. Similar, but a little different. And Wright's Blue, two dips. Love this one. A little runny. Nice sheen to it. What else we got here? Ooh. This is the fake Celadon. Two dips. Similar to Wright's Blue. A little more transparent. Nice sheen to it. Personally, I like this one a lot. This is the, this is clear underneath the black mat. It's got some depth to it. It's not quite satin, not quite glossy. We have our matte black. I've been looking for one for a while. Whoops, domino effect. And then this caramel, which is actually kind of nice. I might use this as a contrasting color to either the Penland Red Orange or the Orange Street. I like that a lot. Here's clear on top of the Orange Street. Look at the difference it makes. It's almost like a, a gold Temoku, don't you think? I made these two using what's called Mishima. It's where you cut into the piece with a sharp knife or exacto, and you fill those lines with underglaze or a different slip. In this case, I used a red mason stain wash. This one I like more, a little more controlled, a little more rigid. I'm really excited about this design. Get out of here. I'm really excited about this design for some future work. Sometimes I'll even Mishima the foot. Jay Fazio. Here's a piece from the blue, green, white Narakomi designs. See that kind of toothy looking Venus flytrap space? This right here is bare clay and then around it is this clear coat. I used wax resist with a brush to get those sharp toothy edges. You see them? This is just a test. Nice liner. This is a test as well. Just seeing, okay, that was an ugly, ugly, ugly test, but hey, that's how you learn. Just seeing how the black matte looks alongside of this colored clay. I like the black matte contrast personally. 
on it, you think. Another white liner. Do you remember the thing that it hid from you in the beginning? Something I'm really excited about. Here it is. Gotta find it. This has, what, one, two, three, four, five, six different colored clays. Did some crazy flipping, folding, cutting, rearranging. It's solid. Then I sculpted it, sanded it, and then a clear glaze. I love how this turned out. Whoops. There's just so much depth when you add this many colors. I didn't wedge it together at all. I just kind of stacked, rearranged. I even beveled some of the edges. Can you even see without getting blurry? No, probably not. Very excited about this result for sure. Let me know which glazes were your favorite. Let me know what you want to see more of. This is the first glaze firing so far, and so I have a lot more to do, a lot more work to make, a lot more tests to run. Just getting started. So if you're... What? That's right, walk away. So if you're just visiting for the first time, consider subscribing. Like the video, comment below, let me know what you think. Anyway, I will see you in the next video. Until then, take care.